Greetings, YouTube friends. It's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead. And for breakfast today, this is um, our first week of being um, on lockdown. Uh, we are going to go ahead and have for breakfast our hot cross buns that we had yesterday. I'm going to warm them up on the grill and kind of toast them up and um, put cinnamon and brown sugar on them. And then we're gonna have some hard boiled eggs that we made. Our son made some cute little hard boiled eggs and drew on them for them. So we're gonna enjoy those for breakfast as well. But um, what I'm gonna do, and this you can do with just about, you know, anything that you have left over, you know, as far as bread is concerned, you can stick it on the griddle and just kind of toast it up. And it just kind of brings it back to life again makes it nice and toasty and warm and what's not good with cinnamon and sugar okay so they had fun coloring Easter eggs and we have lots of Easter eggs this year we made sure we didn't do too many but we did have some friends come over and they brought like 60 eggs <laughs> that they colored and had fun with but we did send them home because you know we don't really eat that many hard boiled eggs and we really like our own. We're kind of picky that way. I think once you get to uh, having your own eggs, store bought eggs just aren't the same. <laughs> so, but with what we do have, the, the dozen that we um, colored, we're gonna go ahead and make egg salad sandwiches tonight. Or I should say for lunch. Look at how toasty that is and just all buttery, it's so yummy. And then the hot cross buns have raisins and um, nutmeg and brown sugar and cinnamon in it, so it's just gonna be an overall yummy little treat. We don't have hot cross buns, but once a year, so <laughs> might as well enjoy the ones we have left. get quite as much butter on there. It's starting to smoke, lots of butter. I think I better turn it down. There we go. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do, is I will put them on the plates. Flip this one over just a minute longer. Warm up that little bit of butter. There we go. And then I'm going to sprinkle the cinnamon and sugar on there. Yummy, look at that. And when the butter and the bread is still warm, it kind of soaks up in there. Look at that. What a yummy breakfast, huh? One we don't get, but once a year. Okay, guys. <laughs> I realized I was going to show you how to make egg salad and I forgot to video. And I was also going to show you what we were having for supper, which is cowboy grub. And of course I forgot to film that as well. So I'm going to go over what is in both these dishes and give you the recipe so that maybe you can try it as well. Okay. With our egg salad, like I was telling you, we were going to use our hard boiled eggs that we had left over from Easter. We had a dozen. And so I used about five hard boiled eggs and um, I cut those up. We have this handy dandy little thing I want to show you. Of course, it's in the sink and it's dirty. Well, never mind. It's this little thing that I just kind of put the eggs in and it just kind of slices them up real small. And then we put in um, just like a quarter of a red onion and probably one stalk of celery finely chopped. Um, and then I put a little bit of green onion in there as well. We love the little bit of spice. And then salt and pepper. And you can put paprika if you'd like as well. But look at that, guys. It is simply delicious. And so what I was gonna do, <clears throat> So I'm going to put it on one of our rolls. This is a sourdough roll. And then take a nice heaping spoonful. 
Never can have too much egg salad. Look at that, guys. Is that delicious or what? And it's oozing, so you need a fork. <laughs> so that is lunch. So now, I went ahead and um, started supper. And we're having cowboy grub. And cowboy grub, again, I was gonna show you how to make that. <clears throat> Look at that, guys. Brown rice. Pinto beans, grass-fed beef, oh, I put the lid on, and then um, you can do um, the Rotel tomatoes. We don't buy those. We don't buy tomato products in cans, so I made salsa verde with our green tomatoes from last year, and I used that, and then I fermented jalapenos, and I put that in there as well, and then chili seasoning, cumin, um, you can put paprika in there if you'd like. Um, lots of garlic and onions. And like I said, it's brown rice instead of white rice. Um, salt and pepper. And you can play around with it. It's called cowboy grub. So it's kind of like a, a, a glorified rice and beans. And you can add meat to it. And you can put cheese on it if you want. We, just, we put cilantro and tomatoes on top. Um, and maybe just a little bit more jalapeno depending on your taste and you can make it as spicy as you'd like or as less spicy as you'd like but we kind of like it with a bite so I put quite a few jalapenos in there but this is out of um, I'll show you the trim healthy mama cookbook get this on here right the trim healthy mama cookbook and so this would be considered an E which is an energizing meal, which gives you energy because it has carbs in it. And then throughout the day, you would eat maybe two S meals, which are satisfying meals that don't have carbs in it, but have your fats, your healthy fats. So this is really a wonderful way to cook. It's a huge cookbook. I had it, um, I took it into the um, office store and had them put a, it was just a regular book and I had them bind it like with the spiral bound and then put plastic on there so that it stays clean. And I've done that with quite a few of their cookbooks, but they have delicious recipes um, and it, uh, it helps you to slim down and just stay healthy and just have more healthy meals and how to combine foods so that you don't put your carbs together with your fats. Um, so it really does help you feel better but <laughs> I wanted to show you how to make this, but the way I do it is I boil my rice, the brown rice, and I did my beans in the Instant Pot, and then I just um, stir fried the onions and the garlic and the meat together, and then all you do is just throw it all together and just combine it all and just make a grub out of it. <laughs> um, so it's a very simple dish, and like I said, well, I guess if you were to stick with the Trim Healthy, you would not add your cheese. But if you're not doing that and it didn't matter to you, you could put the cheese, the fat on there as well and eat it as a, um, you know, a regular meal. But this is so satisfying because it's a protein. It's a complete protein. It's, well, it has the meat in there as well. But if you didn't have meat, you could do the rice and beans the same way and then just add your chili seasonings and eat it that way because I know that uh, with things going on the way they are, people have stocked up on a lot of rice and beans. So this is one way that you can use rice and beans. Um, and you can do it, like I said, without meat if you don't have meat. So it can be seasoned um, like chili and it's delicious, guys. I have to say, it is so yummy and so satisfying. You don't need very much. And this is gonna be plenty for leftovers tomorrow as well. But, um, so that's how that was made, very, very simple. And then the egg salad was just as simple with leftover hard boiled eggs. Um, we're all about making uh, simple meals and stretching them. Um, and of course these were leftover rolls that I've made in the bread machine. So all about trying to use up everything you have. We're trying to eat more sparingly just because, you know, the way things are, we just don't know. So we're trying to stretch everything. But I hope that all of you are doing well. Um, this is day seven for us on our lockdown. They have actually said that if we meet with more than 10 people, they are fining you, you know, $500, which is absolutely crazy because yesterday we had our whole family. We have a large family. 
and there was way more than 10, but uh, we were thankful that no one said anything. And But it is what it is, you know? You just, uh, when you have a large family, I mean, you, which one are you gonna say? Well, you can't come, you can't come, it's just our family. But um, anyway, I just hope that you all are doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, stay home. Cook meals from scratch, it's simple. It doesn't take a whole lot more work. Um, you could do this with Minute Maid rice if that's the way you, you know, the rice that you use, but brown rice is so healthy for you and it's so simple to make. It doesn't require much. And beans in the Instant Pot are 35 minutes, dried beans. So, but anyway guys, this is something that you can do. Like I said, I will leave the recipe um, down below so that you can try it yourself. And the same with um, the egg salad. And that's just, you know, a yummy, yummy lunch. That is so satisfying as well. But anyway, guys, if you like what you see, please subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend who might be interested in watching our channel as well. That would really help us. Give us a thumbs up <laughs> and push that notification bell <laughs> and we'll, you'll be notified as to when we have another video, guys. But until next time, stay safe. God bless you.